solving problems using relationship of standard Gibbs free energy equals negative NFE standard potential of a cell which also equals negative RT natural log of the equilibrium constant. So in this problem it says an experimenter places 1.0 moles of H2 and 1.0 moles of I2 in a 1 liter flask and the substances react to produce hydrogen iodide. So when the flask, the contacts of the flask come to equilibrium at 458 degrees Celsius, which is also 731 Kelvins, the, experiment find, the experimenter finds that it contains 0.225 moles of H2, 0.225 moles of I2, and 1.55 moles of HI. So we want to calculate the standard free energy change for the reaction because now we know it at equilibrium. So we can use this equation right here. So what we're going to do is find KEQ so we can take the natural log of it. We know that's going to be HI, the concentration of HI squared, over the concentration of H2 times the concentration of I2. And that's going to be 1.55 squared divided by 0 0.2225 times 0 0.225, the concentration of HI and I2. And that's going to give me 47.5 as the KEQ for this reaction. So now we can do this. Standard free energy change is going to be negative 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. That is the R. That's the constant R that we're going to use. Now temperature we know it's seven, we have to put in a Kelvin, so it's 731 Kelvins times the natural log of K, which KEQ, which we found is 47.5. So the natural log of that. And when we calculate it, we're going to see that we're going to get negative 23,500 23, joules per mole, or to make it simpler, negative 23.5 kilojoules per mole. And so that is our answer because we want to have, make sure that it's in kilojoules per mole because that's what they want the answer in. So it's going to be negative 23.5 kilojoules per mole is the answer for this problem.